fill it out and then use the um, electro bolts to do the right side. It doesn't always go that way, but that's very textbook. The timing method um, is kind of very particular. I have a video of it uh, up on the Discord. If anybody is interested in that, I will link it to you. Pretty fast. Here you want to go just so that your first, you're just off of this, um, this peg here. And that'll get this nice big slide down here. That's really unlucky. <laughs> Oftentimes you want to use your electro bolt on the left side because it's really difficult to get into there. About it. Here I then decided to use the second one on the right side because it had a lot of oranges. I thought I could clear a lot and also get a free ball, which did end up, end up being the case. Unfortunately, here we're in a slightly messy situation, but I think it's okay. Could have aimed that with a little bit different timing. Yeah, this um, sort of like circle up here can be very, very obstructive to your shots. So clearing out parts of it can actually be really good for later in the level where you're clean when you're cleaning out the left side. Here, I'm gonna start cleaning out the left side um, because, exactly, um, it could possibly clear stuff on the right side as well. That's too bad. So again, you have to be very careful with when you're shooting um, so that you're not running into any of these troublesome moving pegs messing up your shot. Very nice. That was close to a death. I'm glad we were able to pull it out. One, two. Also remember, these are fake. Let's <laughs> do not worry about me TBing. I will not. Could have needed a better run. Um, that start was uh, L2. This is going to be R2 minus zero. Could have needed a better early game is what I actually meant to say. Here, I mostly just do the um, electro bolts on the opener when I get them. I think the opener is kind of that productive, um, but sometimes you can interrupt it and decide to go for a different electro bolt. Yeah, the right side's a little messy here, so maybe I should have on the right side. Hard to say, though. You can oftentimes get the ball sort of stuck, yeah, in these sort of bolts on the side by doing stuff like that. side. Fortunately, not super productive. An off the wall shot will work here. Also practice your off the wall shots. That was an easy off the wall shot, but you might have to do off the wall shots later that are a lot harder. there I did a poor bucket timing and it resulted in a bad um, a bad shot luckily now we have no more moving oranges so hopefully we will be able to pull this out ah, that's bad just slow ah that's unfortunate too we're getting a little bit unlucky here unfortunately these shots are not working out in the way I would like them to be Unfortunately, these are also really hard to free ball. So I'm trying, but, you know. Yeah, this cyclone often interrupts that. Yeah, see? And there we go. Took our first step. In cyclone, that is very common to do. Um, now you can see me sort of, you know, reacting to a death. Cyclone's a really hard level. Here I'm doing the other side. I'm aiming at this bolt here. Bolt shots are very common um, in terms of
of pixel shots. And that sort of helps me clear out that top area while also dropping into some good picks um, later down the line there. Yeah, unfortunately there, if we had had a better center bottom shot on the second shot, we would have been okay, but just didn't quite get it. That's another thing that is very important to practice. Well, and see, a lot of the time, when you do it the second time, you complete it very quickly. <laughs> center bottom shots are very, very important to practice. I highly recommend doing that. There, I am just kind of doing a roughly aimed shot. That bucket timing is minus four. That gets me uh, these big slides, but there's multiple pixel shots that you can do. And then these slides are pretty simple usually. You also just want to aim there like that after doing it. Very clean. Here I'm doing this side first because this side is more likely to uh, give me a free ball. No matter where the purple spawns, or I can just get lucky like that. That works too. You want to be using Marina so that you can um, be getting all of these difficult pegs underneath these barriers here. That's not where I wanted that to bounce. Also not quite where I wanted that to bounce, but we did need to get rid of that peg. So it's not the end of the whole world. shots on that level. The shots to sort of clean up the bottom part there. Yeah, for sure, Brass. That's a really good point. Definitely be looking in the comments section, by the way, um, if you're watching this video back, or if you're watching it, you know, or <laughs> whatever I'm trying to say. There we go. Using Marina in this level is useful, obviously, because she's rather vertical. So even though the purple wasn't on that side, I used the uh, I used the electro bolt there because it seemed uh, like that was going to be a very difficult sort of column to clear out. Also, sorry if you're hearing any background noise. I think there's construction going on near my apartment. Okay, unfortunately here we're in a little bit of a sticky situation. We're going to try to get plenty of oranges in one shot. That mostly worked. Here we're going to try to do a little bit of free balling. Great. And now we have a couple of shots to get all of these oranges. So I'm going to just do a shot hoping to get most of them, which worked. Now I'm going to play around with this. It's very good. Highly recommend practicing that level to try to make sure you know how to do bank shots and shots within those barriers to try to clean up straggler pegs. Really, really difficult level. Again, absolutely no shame in losing that one. Do not worry. For this one, uh, there are so, so many different ways to open the level. This one has an incredible range of diverse openers. I recommend trying all of them and seeing what you like best. Right now, um, in any percent, I just do R um, plus 10 and L plus 1 to open up the sides a little bit. But, you know, uh, uh, any, uh, anybody can have, you know, completely different opener strategy and have it be completely valid on this level. So don't worry about it too much. Wow, that was lucky. I will say, though, if you are using Marina, which most people do, um, aim for bucket moment. Um, aim your electro bolt so that they get the pegs down here that are hard to get. Also, nice pull. Um, Shadow Shine is another really, really difficult level. Um, this is why there are fake splits, by the way. That is my PB time, but these are not my PB splits. At the end of this. So there are opener shot strats. So right now I'm doing a very long chain of openers that starts with R plus 10, and then this is R minus one. Don't worry, Oz, I told everybody at the beginning that you're gonna wanna look at chat as well. I'm just kind of reminding people who 
you know, might want to take a second look at the video after they've watched it the first time around. Maybe they might have missed something in chat that would be helpful to them. So uh, there's a definitely a debate on which masker to use here. I think a lot of people use Bjorn, even high level runners, because um, there are a lot of really, really tricky pegs to hit um, in this level. These sort of like purple uh, blockers here make it really difficult to get a lot of the pegs you're looking for. Oh, wow, almost a free ball. Unfortunately, here it's blocking that, so we're just going to try to get it from this side. Very good. Other master choices for this level could include Marina or uh, Tula. And that's the run. So this was almost my... Uh, this is, I think, my third fastest ever run. So that was pretty good. And a sub-112. Bjorn is very, very thin. Um, yeah, Tula, Tula is fast, and I definitely do recommend her if you feel comfortable um, doing those bounces. And sometimes I do Tula where, when I really want um, that level to go extra fast, but when I'm going for safety like I am here, uh, Bjorn is usually the way. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, explaining myself actually often helps me perform well, Oz. I did slow down there multiple times on purpose to do opener shots slowly um, and explain them. So that's actually where most of my time loss came in here from explaining. Otherwise, the explaining actually helps. Um, <laughs> oh, it's terrible, I know. Some of the peggle lore in this game is bad. <laughs> George is talking about it. But yeah, that's, that's basically the run. Um, any percent? There are tons of other categories in this game. If you enjoy any percent, um, I highly recommend checking them out. You do have to finish an any percent run before you can do um, almost any of them. Um, but they range from decathlons, which is a challenge where you're given 10 random levels and you have to complete that as fast as possible. IMs, called individual masters, where you use one master throughout the entirety of the game. Popular variations that include Tula, Marina, Cinderbottom, um, Pooh, uh, Splurk. Um, it's good to be a cat. Okay, thank you, cat time. Um, <laughs> Uh, NG Plus, which is basically you use any master on any level that you want, um, and you redo the whole game, which is really, uh, which is a lot of fun. Um, and there's also categories where you can do all of the ace scores, all of the 100% uh, full clears, um, all of the challenges, and uh, all of that is the extreme grand, or is the ultra extreme grand master run. So there are lots and lots of different options. Um, but any percent is definitely where I recommend starting. Um, I recommend not starting anywhere else, except for maybe decathlons, but no, not in this game. Decathlons are easier in deluxe because deluxe doesn't let you get some levels out of the randomly generated ones, and Knights does not do that. You can get any of them, including the really hard levels um, in a decathlon. So yeah, um, that's about what I got. Timing goes on the first continue after um, after Shadowshine, by the way, so that's why I didn't have to hit that second continue to finish the run. But you also get this fun little little screen at the end of the day. Still more trophies to win. So true. <laughs> Thank you for the celebration. Bounce along with my little spicy pea. But yeah, um, as I said before, um, come to the Discord and ask us any questions you want. Uh, all of us are around and ready to help you at a moment's notice. Um, the link to the Discord, as well as the speedrun.com page, um, and other helpful links, like my own Twitch, um, will be posted uh, in the sort of like caption of this video, whether you're watching it on Twitch or YouTube, it'll be there to access. Um, yeah. Highly recommend practicing individual levels that you're having a tough time with. Recommend just doing no resets at the beginning of your Chaggle journey, and recommend asking any questions. Uh, yeah, one of the devs does hang out with us sometimes, so you might get a chance to talk to him. There are lots of people doing cool projects as well, like mods. Um, so yeah, I hope you come hang out with us, and I hope you found this video helpful. Um, you got some helpful tips and tricks, um, and that you feel more confident when you go into Nights and Eats Percent, either for the first time or for the next round of, uh, of, of runs you're gonna do. Thank you for coming. Um, 
you're in the special thanks section. Um, I hope to see y'all around the Discord, around my Twitch. Ask any questions. Had a fun time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. All right, that was it. <sighs> Very clean, um, actually, I would say, for a run where I was slowing down a lot. Got four golds. Not bad. Yeah, really, the early game was actually the biggest time sink, and obviously losing Cyclone. Um, but not bad. Not bad. As I s have said many times, I'm ready to PB this run again, um, so I would just have to kind of grind it a little bit. But my shoulder hurts a little bit, um, so I'm glad I just did this today. I was going to do PBZ any percent, but didn't end up having time. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to be streaming tomorrow at all. My guess is likely not. Um, however, Saturday night, I believe we are doing a special stream. I think I'm going to be hanging out on stream with some other pegglers and doing something fun. Um, Sunday, I may do a short stream in the morning. It's possible. Um, but that would be about it for Sunday. Monday, we will definitely be back to regular schedule. I'm excited to see what the next Peggle League run is. Oh, also, yeah, um, depending on how fast SNS goes in the next Peggle League, we could be in S League, which would be really weird. Um, so, but maybe not. If SNS performs well enough, um, I will not be. If SNS does not perform very well, um, compared to the rest of the league, I will be. So that would be crazy. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. That was a super fun time doing the tour tutorial. Big shout outs to Brass and Oz and George. Y'all were uh, providing helpful comments throughout the entire time. Uh, thank you for doing that. I think that'll be really nice for the video because um, y'all have different skill sets than I do and know different things about the game. So thank you very much for that. Um, yeah. That's true, you did only have two helpful comments, but that's okay. Two is more than none. Oz and Brass, you definitely provided some of the, the best commentary for sure. Thank you so much for that. And thanks anybody for, who stuck around. Um, I hoped, I hope y'all, if you were here to actually learn, I hope you learned stuff. Um, <laughs> I napped during most of it. <laughs> no problem. But thanks, thanks for hanging around, everybody. Uh, we're probably gonna look for a raid now. Um, who is online? It looks like Lai is playing Peggle. I think we are going to go raid them. Lai Pasta, mod in my channel, Peggle community member, going to have a birthday bash soon. And currently playing um, Spec. Well, actually not yet, it doesn't look like, but they're in the Peggle category, so <laughs> I trust I trust that they'll do Peggle at some point. Don't worry about the timer. All right, see y'all definitely Saturday night, I think. Bye. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna look it up. Uh. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Satan. I'm not doing Peggle at the moment. I'm being dumb. This is the most amount of viewers I've ever had. We were listening to this, because I said I hadn't heard it before, but then it turns out I had heard it before. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I was doing Peggle, but then, you know, I got distracted talking to people. Give me all your jams. Give me your Panaha jams, your poetry jams. I'm posting all the jams. My dog has showed up. She also loves their fire. Hello!
<laughs> George chimes in with Ohio. I have my camera off, but like, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, dog! <laughs> this is such a cow gym. Oh. I heard warrior. But I can't see that it's in sync, because pig farm... <laughs> Oh, it is too. Nice. For all you people in Ohio, we just got a new Chipotle in Ohio. <laughs> Toledo. Ohio. See, what's funny about this song is because I couldn't really hear the lyrics because of my um audio processing things. I thought Ohio. I thought they were saying hello in Japanese. I didn't think the song was about the place Ohio. That's an L on my part, honestly. True. Massive L pastor. <laughs> nice. Um, anyways, the beginning of it reminded me of. Damn it! I had autoplay off. It's fucking rigged. Anyways, it reminded me of this video. <laughs> Burbank, California, where dreams are crushed. Come on down. Fuck Hollywood. That place is shit. Okay, sorry. I was just focusing because I know we're probably going to get a PB here unless we die, which is not unlikely. I like to try to keep things PG-13, and I apologize about any excessive language, uh, but also, like, I'm an adult, so there's going to be language, especially if I get frustrated. Okay, I will submit that run. So, let's see where we place. Uh, it's like a minute PB. Um, obviously, if we didn't move up, I'm not gonna submit it. Because I'm not in the business of submitting runs that do not go anywhere. Oh, it's a minute and a half PB. How about that? It actually doesn't move us up at all, but I can 
go to my account and go here and delete. Let's see. Um, you know what? Just for posterity's sake, I'm not going to delete it. But I'm going to end the recording, and uh, I'll probably stream in like five minutes, which I guess you don't care, because if you're watching this, it's the VOD. Uh, but I'll see you guys later.